Based on your experience in the field and your view of, of that field in you know, five years or more, what are some things that people who want to uh, become data security professionals now should start learning to prepare themselves for the accelerating change of the future, especially if uh, uh, your plan goes <laughs> underway? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what, actually, is, what does the position look like in five years, do you think? So I think, I think, again, I think we need to start thinking about how you know, data security can be used as a differentiator to instill trust as a business that our consumers will do, uh, that, you know, so consumers can trust us as institutions that are trustworthy, right? I think ultimately the whole point of data security is not only to secure the data itself, but ultimately is to exude trust for consumers to do more business with us, right? And I fundamentally believe it is a competitive differentiator when you do take security seriously, not just lip service, but when you say, I do take it seriously, and it's one of those things where we will protect it because we value our relationship to you uh, with you, customer, right? And so to me, that's the value. So in five years, we need to think about where the security, where data security professionals who are starting today, they need to think about how they can always, always drive business value, mm-hmm. not just argue about, you know, what is the most and latest encryption that might work, right? What is, I think we need to talk about more about how can we instill agility into our business while maintaining the credibility that is expected of us from customers. And that requires you now to marry technical understanding, but also how new applications will be developed so that we can transform digitally. And COVID's accelerating this. COVID's accelerating the ability for us to be able to say, we no longer can have a security guard because that security guard is sheltering in place. You understand? Mm-hmm. And so the idea, yeah. the, idea, the idea becomes, okay, how do I do a remote workforce? Like, is the VPN still the way that protect my network? What right. does zero trust look like? And all of these different things are going to become very critical in the future yeah. where we are going to be using them. Uh, and so I think if I were to advise someone getting into that field is definitely read up on, on where that were, when the, where the world's going, where we don't have the idea of a physical location anymore. Yeah. Okay. So to that end, what types of, uh, apart from reading uh, stuff, what types of skills or experiences or training or certs do you think potential data security professionals should be trying to highlight on their resumes? Or, you know, as you said, uh, like what types of types of learning? Because you're, I mean, it sounds like you're really sort of emphasizing uh, some fairly abstract learning in the sense of like, you I know, see. Uh, speculative and, uh, you know, in the way that the industry is going to go. What do you, what do you recommend in that regard? I think, I think every type of data security professional needs to put themselves in the shoes of an attacker. Mm -hmm. And so I think if I were starting today, I think I can, I'm able to articulate a lot of these things a lot better because I've been there on the other side to see how I would be able to potentially approach uh, something from, from that regards. Right. And so do we really trust a pen test? Right. Do we really trust a vulnerability scan? What does zero day look like? How do I, tell the signals of being, uh, you know, indicators of compromise, right? What does that mean? And so I think being able to put ourselves and go through different, you know, capture the flag exercises or being able to, you know, even get involved with reverse engineering, I think being able to just have a very shallow, not deep, but just shallow experience where we can able to speak about these things uh, at a high level allows us to really start tying in uh, better understanding of how we can holistically approach a data security, uh, become a data security professional. I don't think any type of certification is going to solve this problem in the future. I think right. it's going to be more about what can we do to uh, emulate the attacker and what can we do to put ourselves in the mindset of if an attacker can do this, how do I prevent it? New episodes of CyberWork are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to claim your free month of InfoSec skills. Sign up using the code CyberWork and you'll get unlimited access to hundreds of courses, hands-on labs, certification practice exams, skills assessments, and more. Use code CYBERWORK for InfoSec skills.